Today, I was scrolling on Reddit when I came across a video that piqued my interest. It's a video that I've seen before in the past, but only now it caught my attention. And it's of a guy testing a bear-proof suit by running over it with cars, throwing himself inside of the suit off the sides of cliffs, or having like a group of people beat the suit with a baseball bat. In the past, when I've seen this video, I've never actually done a deep dive, but it has been interesting enough for me to go, hmm, that's pretty cool. But today I decided to do a deep dive and the whole entire backstory for this is way more interesting than one might think. The inventor behind this wild invention, his name is Troy Hertubis, and I'm probably completely mispronouncing this, but he's a Canadian inventor. And the backstory behind this is one day he was walking in the woods back in the 80s when he ran into a grizzly bear. The grizzly bear attacked him and knocked his 22 caliber gun to the ground. Troy ended up pulling out a knife and the bear became uninterested, so it continued walking on. But this was a massive revelation for Troy because he realized that if the bear really wanted to, like if the bear had had cubs, Troy would have been completely screwed. The bear would have mauled him and that would have been the end of Troy's life. Troy then spent seven years developing this suit that he called the Ursus Mark. And Ursus is the scientific name for bear, hence the Ursus Mark name. And this was actually documented in a documentary where they recorded him testing various versions of this suit. The final suit ended up looking like something from the Transformers and it was actually inspired by Robocop. And the entire reason that Troy invented this was for bear researchers to be able to get closer to bears and be safe while doing so. The suit stands at seven feet, two inches tall, absolutely massive and weighed around 150 pounds. It was made with titanium and air cushioning inside and the original suit also had some duct tape, which is a perfect product to hold the suit together. I'm sure grizzly bears can't get through duct tape. Ultimately, Troy ended up spending $150,000 on the development of this suit. And when he finally got to test it, he went into like a pen with another grizzly bear, but the, the bear was completely uninterested and paid no attention. He didn't look attackable, I guess you could say. So it was kind of a flop. And bear researchers were also saying after they saw the suit that there would be no practical use for it. I feel I'm not gonna lie, that actually scared the hell out of me. After reading about Troy's failed invention, which I honestly think is one of the coolest inventions I've ever seen, I read about some of his other inventions. One of them was a fire-resistant paste that hardened when it gets close to heat that could withstand 3,600 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. NASA said they were interested but never followed through with it. And then he also invented something that almost killed him. It was called the Trojan, and this was also a suit that was designed for military as well as police use. And during one of the testings, he had developed a special chest plate that was supposed to be bulletproof. He tried to convince the guy that was testing with him to shoot the bullet because he was adamant that it wouldn't go through. The guy said, no, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take it off and test it like that. And when he shot the bullet at it, the bullet went straight through without a problem. So very close call for Troy on that one. Unfortunately though, Troy did recently pass away in 2018. So we're not gonna be able to see any more of his cool inventions, but you know, who knows? Maybe someday there's gonna be another inventor that creates something and builds off of what Troy has done, but I just thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to talk about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good one.